Hello! It's Tech Artist 41 Tim, but I'm back! I've been off for quite a while. I will actually be drawing today. Enough that. Sorry, I've been going through multiple different things, trying to find out which ways are best of earning money, and... Ah! Uh, that's a headache in its own, own right, but hey, what, what can you do? Alright, let's get to drawing. Um, I have been working on multiple different things. I've been working on my art, I've been working on digital drawings to some extent. I haven't been... I've been on and off on my drawing of digital stuff. Uh, one second. Let me at least get this. There we go. And I use Procreate on my iPad and then sometimes I put it into Photoshop and all that stuff. But hey. Is it. Yeah, sorry. I'm very sensitive to motion, so I notice when things are going slow and at a 30 frame, frame rate, so. This is one of my drawings right here, if you can see it. Uh, probably not. <laughs> you can only see a white screen. Um, let me try something. Let's lower the. See if you can see this. So, yeah, I had to lower the brightness because it doesn't see very well. But this is one of my drawings that I did on my iPad. And let's see. And occasionally I draw on my iPad, but. Where I'm at right now, there there's not really a good place to draw and sit down unless you go to a cafe, and I I, I just want to live in a world where there's time. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, and I also have to deal with that. It's it's more of an allergy issue for that and. I've had these allergies for quite a while. Um, nothing really helps me in any sense, and I really don't want to take another... Um, anytime you take medicine from doctors and stuff like that, even just general stuff, it, it doesn't help your body uh, in the sense that it weakens your immune system and all that it's fighting, so... Sometimes you need a cleanse, and I've had a little bit of that. At the same time, my hours of sleep have just skewed so far and slightly to the extent that it is. But I've also been working on my stickers and just all that stuff. Uh, let me... just one second. I'm, I'm going to actually do show you some of the art that I've actually been working on. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, this is one of my paintings that I did. Yeah, I don't have very good light in here, so it's not going to show up completely well, but, yeah. 
But this is one of my paintings that I've done since the last time. Here's another one. Here's one that started very abstractly. So, and some of these are on stream and some I haven't actually put the videos out on YouTube just yet. So if you want to watch them, uh, I do have them displayed on TikTok. Uh, there's this one. And last but not least, this one. I did them out of order uh, because I did this one and the 16 by 20 first. And then I did the scary one in between. Um, the scary one was basically in between the 16 by 20 and the uh, 11 by 14. But I've, those are the paintings that I've done since I've actually <laughs> stopped streaming on YouTube for quite a while. I need to figure out which way to go, which direction to actually follow. And I figured out that I need to do a mixture of both TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, there's so many social media websites, it, it, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> so, but um, the thing is, I will post to those a couple times every week. Those. I won't um, really say when. Uh, on YouTube, it's hard to really say exactly when, but I'm going to be doing this from Wednesday, um, from on Wednesday and then Friday at around 10 o'clock. Every, well, each one of those days for YouTube. And then on TikTok, I am. I'm really going to try to do this uh, on TikTok as well, where not not in the same days. No, um, I'm actually going to be uh, streaming on TikTok, and those I will actually live paint. So on TikTok, you will actually see me paint live uh, for about an hour or so, and I will not finish the painting in an hour. Uh, takes me about two hours but the thing is my phone shuts off around two, um, around the hour mark and every 30 minutes it comes up with a pop-up saying yeah you're you're remaining inactive so we're going to shut turn you off it, it, it's a whole mess in its own right uh, all their all the streaming services out there they <laughs> they drive me nuts in their own way um, I'm going to do some things with TikTok and all the other different streaming services and see where I can catch people because I do want to display my art, I do want to sell my art, I do want to accept commissions of both digital, physical artwork like what you see behind me, some things like this, some of dogs, some of houses any of those because I will do that for most people and most things but I, I wouldn't at least say it on YouTube to clear that out but and of course I will be drawing a little bit I've already started on a drawing it's um, <laughs> drawing myself uh, but I wouldn't at least share this and get back to you on this because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to also do this for NFTs. So I'm trying to do a series of images for NFTs that are not AI generative. Um, yes, I'm going to call it AI generative um, art. And it's not bad in its own way, but the thing is what people have to understand is AI is a tool. It can be used for malicious and non-malicious practice. It can help people finish their artwork like their backgrounds if they're not very good with backgrounds. Um, but 
you still have to fix those backgrounds because AI is not going, well, AI generative art is not going to be perfect. It's going to have flaws that are very, very noticeable, but it can at least get the rough idea out there. And if it is trained on your art or someone else's art, the, the thing is, when people use too much AI generative art, it tends to be a backlash. And I understand that because I don't like AI at all. It, and the fact that there's someone actually making a game that has generative AI, a, sim, a simulation game, it, um, it's good in its own right, but it, it's also pretty bad because if you look in the terms and agreements of what it says, is anything uploaded is Crafton's um, property. All art that is uploaded, no matter what it is, no matter who uploaded it, the thing is, Crafton's still responsible for any any art they steal because even though the person uploaded the artwork they're um, they're not generally responsible the company's still responsible for it no matter how much they say in their contract if if it is not the individual artist who uploads uh, who uploads it they can have it taken down from their servers no matter what it is because of all the many different things that come out <laughs> so that it, there's all these different policies and things like that Adobe did that too and I'm pissed off about that for just using their software that they can take anything that you have and but no, that that is a whole nother can of worms that but the thing is with me and anything that happens uh, I do put a curse on all of them and it is involuntary for me I and sometimes my curses get out of hand and curse even those who have wronged me in every single way no matter what it is and even it's like if they didn't um, uphold their policy, their reasoning, yada yada. But that that's something I just don't wish to explain. Um, and I don't wish for anybody to be cursed under any reason, but it does get into that morally gray area. And I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but enough about that. I'm going to get to drawing and I do um, hope all that who have joined me and all that who are listening uh, well thank you alright let's get to it let's go on to the tablet screen alright Let it. the thing is I like to show everything and windows and panels and all that layers yada yada alright version history timeline swatches plugins yeah screen mode Because I know you can have another window and all that stuff. Clone source. Oh no. That's something else. That's not what I need. Alright. We'll just continue with my drawing here. In every bit of the word, <laughs> people need to be careful of what they do on any any underlying thing 
because a lot of artwork has been stolen because of just people not understanding that it is not their artwork to sell and so on and so forth uh, and I understand why animators and all those different types of individuals get mad when they see their artwork but the thing is sorry one second uh, I just feel like anytime that happens there's a lot of backlash on every aspect of everything Photoshop and every program I've I have issue with because they the resources that they use are too much. I haven't found a program that works as good as Photoshop and as good as Clip Studio in in the right situations. Because Clip Studio, I do like Clip Studio a lot. The only problem I have with Clip Studio is that there are certain brushes and things that don't sit right for me from the default. And all I'm using mostly in, in Photoshop are default brushes, except for a f few brushes like Kyle, Kyle brushes. Because I do like his brushes. They they work quite quite well with my art style. But yeah, no, it I, I have a grievance with all different types of art software. Photoshop's too heavy on the computer, so it weighs down the processor. There's and no one no one uses the multiprocessor in the way that it's actually meant to be used. So that also pisses me off too. There's not multiple processes that work in conjunction with actually helping you with all your devices and whatnot. I just have an issue with how they implement it and The reason why Adobe loses customers and all that is because they do not let the cus the customer base of what they have is a ghost base. And what I mean by that is every customer that they have, some people are grandfathered in, and then there are the others that are on it because they can't find anything else that is equivalent to it. I've looked. I've used Photoshop. I've used Affinity. I've used many different types of art software and they don't feel right. The pressure sensitivity is wrong. The... Just anything is... It doesn't work the way it should. <laughs> so <laughs> it vexes me. A lot of things vex me, but that vexes me the most because there's nothing I can do to really change it without contacting them and going through a whole slew of questions and saying it's like I don't want this anymore I, I don't like your software I I want a better software where I can buy it once and stay with it not have to change every so so amount of years and what does Adobe do they don't care they want the most they they are a greedy corporation and I will not discount them on that. That is the one thing that I hate about corporations is 
they are too greedy for their own good. And the thing is, they can get away with a lot of this greed because we allow it. And that alone just pisses me off. It's like, why are we allowing this? For what reason do we allow this to happen? So, yeah, I'm, I'm just a little bit disappointed on every front, so it... What can you do when the world is not really in your face? Alright, everybody's still there. There we go. All right. Let me see. Can you see it? There we go. I'm, I'm doing it off of the same computer, and that is ill-advised. No, I just don't have. I don't have the money or finances to really get a new computer, and the thing is, I shouldn't have to buy a new computer. Because this one should work fine with what it is. But what can you do? And I just... Changing my setup would basically change from Windows... From Mac to Windows and vice versa. And I like this trackpad. <laughs> uh, but yeah. No. Alright. Now that that is fixed, I do have issue with all, all different software. I have... I've tried everything and there... This is one of the issues I receive when dealing with any type of software that... Ha that works because what Apple does is quite nice but also quite annoying at sometimes yes I, I'm bashing every single company because the thing is about them that piss that just annoys me is the fact that all and everything that I I use whether it be digital or not. Yeah, it... Sorry, I'm looking through my programs because I need to find something to fix my memory issue because every, every Mac has this issue on memory control where it uses more memory than than what is actually programmed in its own software of what it should be using. It's going to take a little bit, so I'm going to talk to you guys. But no, it. I, I've just had issues with all different types of programs, devices, um, just things working. I even switched over my service of my Wi-Fi, um, well not my Wi-Fi, but my phone service from Sprint to T-Mobile to AT&T to now I'm on Helium because well with Helium I actually earn rewards for it so yeah and the thing is, when I have so many issues with all of this, it, it, it drives me nuts. I, I would love to be a beta tester and get paid for it. The thing is, what's happening out there in the world is people aren't getting paid for what they're um, supposedly getting for free now. 
which kind of pisses me off in one way or another, because every single thing that exists out there, uh, we should be able to get paid for it, and we are we aren't, and being as an artist, why is my one second. Uh, da, da, da. Even my mic control is... There we go. Alright. Even as an artist, I... I even talk to another artist. The thing is, being an artist is hard. People don't quite understand that as an artist, there's so many issues, so many complications, so many different variables that we have to actually calculate now and it is underlyingly difficult to become an artist now it wasn't like this long before when artists were more in demand but the thing is people were also stealing our art that that is another issue that that I've come across is that there are more people trying to steal art than making it. Sorry. So many issues here, too. So... Buggy drivers... I've had to deal with all this stuff of horrible drivers that don't quite work well with yeah, and you can look at my file structure. It gets very confusing. Um, let's see. I need to go to downloads. And downloads have a lot of stuff in there, too. Yeah, yeah, ignore that. <laughs> um, let's see. Pokemon Suites. Winter, Spring... Yeah, some of my screenshots for other videos. Faye, screenshot. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Do I just not have it? I may not. I'm just going in documents, music, whatever. Alright, let's just go ahead and do a general search for. XP pin. Uh, yeah, no, th that's not going to help. Uh, and the reason why I say that is organized network, setup files, work, sound, manuals, mining. Uh, nope. Let's see... No, okay, so not there... Yeah, it gets confusing for me too when I put all this stuff in the way it is. Coding YouTube... Program database... Video database... Movies on tape... Stream data... Pop tube... No. Defunct stuff, lovely. Retro control. Yeah. Old drives, games. Unorganized. No, not there. Uh, image conversion, no. So, organized network somewhere, not books. Kazel programs. Mac. Yeah, I, I just have so much data that I back up. Oh, installers, emulation, emulators, Mac. Rebel. Yeah, I've tried Rebel too. It, it, it was a little, it was a bit laggy on my end. 
talk to yeah, these are all the different things. So no. Uh visual, no doc data, no that's something else. Organi yeah. Just so many different things that I have within folders of folders of folders of folders of folders. Of folders. <laughs> Sometimes they're just copies of stuff, of stuff, of stuff, of stuff. Yeah. Let me just go to the XP pin website. Sorry. Uh, new window. There we go. All right. Error. Okay. Move from Brave and move from Brave. Yeah, Brave has issues with trackers and well, it does other tracking of other things. Not, not really your personal data. Just it keeps it within a closed network. All right. Let's see. We are looking for XP pin. Tablet update. Um, actually, drivers. All right. Tablet drivers. User manuals. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to drivers downloads. Uh, They had it a lot easier before, so I'm just going to choose this one and I'm going to go to this download. The reason why I choose this one is the fact that I've had none of these work for the XP pin tablet that I have because it is just so far outdated. But it still works with any modern Mac, which makes no sense, right? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll save this. I do need to find where I put that. Um, I can try 4.0 because it might work, it might not work. I I, I've had issues with every different thing, so it, yeah, it, I, I've really tried. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, so many different devices trying so many different things they don't all work and it causes me headache upon no, no end but I just have the 15.6 inch artist pen display which doesn't look like it exists anymore in their lineup oh, there it is the regular one and yeah n none of this works none of the newer drivers work for me so I actually have to use this one rather than well I have to use the 2013 well 2023 hopefully that one works. I can try it, see if it if it's something that will work. As the Mac un unzips. Alright, let's try this one out. It may not work, so I may need to try a different driver.
Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's not going to work. Whoops. What about there? Sorry about this, everybody. Didn't mean to drag that screen. Yeah, that one's not going to work, so I can't use that one. So, it is this driver right here, the driver that I need. Just downloading drivers is confusing, isn't it? There we go. And I have to download these old drivers because they work the best. I've had no issues with them. There we go. The reason how I know is it says pin tablet and replace. Yes, replace it. Because the driver's been acting wacky for me. Usually I would not just replace it, but sometimes replacing it also helps and works. But these are the issues I go through, and I do also have to have the XP Pin Tablet Pro on there because it just helps with the process in other ways. But I do have to open it at least once to get it to work properly too. And there's my settings. The express keys don't work on my device anymore. That, that's the only issue I have. But I just exit it and I should be good to go. Okay. Now we can exit all that. Sure, we'll install the update. Whatever you want, Brave. And now we test it out on our device. Yep, so much smoother. Sometimes you just have to reinstall, which doesn't make any sense. <coughs> but it still does that craziness, so. It is somewhat of an improvement, but because I'm using so many more processes and Sorry. Just so many more issues on other accounts and by fronts and yeah. And I'm not even using that many programs. It's most likely Safari and Brave and all that stuff that it's bogging down my machine. Mostly Safari, but... Because I haven't really switched over to a one, one thing. Sorry. Whenever I run any... I try to draw something and then... Okay. It could just be the resolution, image, adjustments, brightness, contrast, mode. Yeah. Because I like to do things at higher resolutions than image size uh, let's see 600 dpi 5 by 7 yeah no it could try this in another program and see what happens uh, let's let's save this first save as and no I would rather 
save it to my computer and my files of messes of stuff uh, stream we'll name it there no drain yep drain.psb say okay and we will file save as we'll just say this as untitled all right let's quit photoshop because it's probably taking all my resources yeah and yeah, I, I do like Noir and all that. Let's try this in Clip Studio Paint. I have issues with it, but hopefully it doesn't act weird on me this time. Yes, I've been just streaming for about an hour and <laughs> just talking about issues. Lovely. Yeah. I mostly just have these as wallpapers because I find them on Google and I say, oh, that would be good for my background. Why not? I just don't like looking at my art all the time. <laughs> it's weird as an artist saying that, but hey, it, it is what it is. And Clip Studio shows up differently on different um, on different OS versions. I like the Windows because I can actually move my stuff around. So, yeah. Uh, projects. No. Um, ah. Sorry, the device seems to be cleaning itself. Stream. Uh, yeah. I know I forgot the dot. But this should be easier, hopefully. Yeah, that's fine. I, I really don't care at this point. I just want to draw. So I'm going to fade that again, add another layer, and just start drawing like I should be. Okay. Let me, sorry, just so many issues on, on this front too. So let's see, brush size, to make it small, otherwise it doesn't turn out right on this. But this is the issue I have with Clip Studios, it doesn't do well with streaming and the trackpad workaround is slightly non-existent so okay so what is going on here snap roller can I just Also, the fact that it's so light that no, this one's not any better. Lovely. I draw this line, and it yeah. 
Yeah. I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying. Nope. Clip Studios out. Do not save, please. And then let's try Affinity Photo 2. But I try all these different programs. They work when I'm not recording. And then every time I try to use another program, uh, just issue after issue. It'd be nice if I had a new, nicer computer, but uh, it's not in my budget right now. <laughs> All right, so Affinity Photo 2. Let's drag this over here. And open as it takes its time. Oh, a QR code tool, nice. All right, artwork, digital. I'm just glad that no matter what type of Photoshop file it can open it, but on the other hand, I feel like it's a lot of, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I just want to draw. <laughs> can you just give me that luxury? <laughs> uh. All right, and we go on to the brush. Okay. All right, let's look at this one. Let's turn down the opacity even further. But this is, uh, yeah, I don't know why it does that sometimes. But this is the issue I have with um, Affinity Photo, is that their their drawing program is very nice, yes, but is also very annoying to use because. It makes all my circles into hexagons. It makes it, it makes all of my artwork geometric. I, I'm trying to do a circle here and yeah. But Photoshop is way too heavy on a lot of machines. And then whenever I try to go to a different program and try to stream with it, See, this has a lot better use of the trackpad. Far away, it looks fine. But when you get up close... Look at that. That, that is terrible. <laughs> Sorry. It... This is why I can't go from... Photoshop to any other program and some of the free programs have issues in their own right. I don't want to really say much about them, but they do. I just haven't found a program that works for me. Every single time they're broken. <laughs> but yeah. I know I've been just complaining for about an hour, but <laughs> uh, this is what I go through every single time I try to use one program, I switch to another, it still doesn't work just right, and 
don't get me started on Rebel. Rebel... It is one of the worst offenders. Everybody thinks Macs have it nice with all the, the different software that is supported. Yeah. Except within the last couple of years it broke along the way. I'm not even joking on that. Every time any sort of um, oh and that's Drachnita. This one I drew on my iPad. It's a little blurry but I used the pencil brush on that. Uh, let's see. Untitled. There we go. But yeah, no. It, I try. I try every day with all these different programs. I'm just tired of it. I need a better working machine. That would help. No, now Photoshop works. After I closed it, reopened it, did all that stuff. But yeah, no, it. It's a blooming issue. Yeah. Photoshop has with every single thing. I'm mostly just going to sketch this out because I, I really can't work under these conditions <laughs> in the literal sense of that. So. And the reason why is everything's just breaking bit by bit on all of us. And I try so many times to get things working just right, and it never does. Sure, we'll go with that for that. <laughs> and sneezing isn't the issue on that. But I try all these different programs. They, they fail to amaze me in any way. I want something that works on a machine that has nothing. Practically nothing. Maybe some graphics here and there, yes. But not everybody's going to have the most fancy of fancy machines, but it needs to work on at least a 1080. Someone who doesn't have a huge budget and all of that needs to work on a machine that isn't as powerful, but is powerful enough to run some of these things. It's, it drives me nuts. It drives every single person who draws nuts. And any time that we try to lash out, or, well, I say lash out, but it's not really lashing out. It's more of stating the facts as they are. We get hassled for it in a way that we didn't need to be hassled. But what, what, what can you do, really? I know this live stream is not really going out for most people and by the time you see this, it will no longer be a live stream. It'll be a video on YouTube in its algorithm of algorithms where those who are subscribed see it, but those who aren't don't really know about it. And it gets stuck within the algorithm of algorithms of algorithms of algorithms. And I'm fine with that. I, I've tried so many different times on YouTube and so many different times on just all these different platforms. 
I've been scammed a couple of times m more more on the lines of just me having a blank mind and trying to just deal with life in general. But, hmm. And to those scammers out there, you are at fault. And every time you curse me, you're just going to have a hard time. But, it's not my fault that you en ended up betraying me in such a way that you ended up cursing your whole family for it. Yes, that, that is my take on that. <laughs> it's one of my worst curses out there. Everybody involved, including their families, no matter if they knew or didn't, they're all subject to it. Yeah. This is mostly why I draw things off, off screen and not really streaming. Because I have a lot of issues with all this stuff. I'm going to most likely try to see if I can stream on a Windows computer and use the same display. If not, then, well, I may just do what I do. But I know most of this was talking and all that stuff, but. I can't do this directly on stream because it tends to have issues. Next time I may be on a Windows machine and talk to you guys, so I say good night for today and I do hope everybody has a nice Friday afternoon or maybe tomorrow or whatever day it may be. But be safe out there and hope the best for me. I'm working on a comic as well, so there's that. And I will also be releasing uh, it on Webtoon, Webtoons under Fair Shecht. Yeah, I have Fair Shecht and Tech Artist. Those are usually my two handles, but I have three. I, I just like to be complicated and I don't like to keep things the same just because I'd rather people find me for me without having to try to just easily find me and I get shoved in the background like everything else on either YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook, and all that other stuff. But I do hope everybody has a nice night. This is Tech Artist signing out for today.